Oh, Hello, Hello. 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 The sky is loaded with bats. Yeah. Chicken of the cave, as some call them. <laughs> Catherine Farms Day. Booking two nights here. Cat, uh, Cat and Sadie's gonna feed the animals this afternoon. Okay. We just got to Catherine Farms Day. Just in time for the animal Bye -bye. feeding. So we're going to head down here and check out the animals. Come on, Sadie. Come on. Yeah. Put your hands out. There you go. Good job. Wow. Is that pretty cool? It's all right. He's just trying to get somewhere to hold on to. <laughs> Thank you. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Good job. Gonna hold I cannot believe you just held a snake. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He's tickling you. <laughs> Hi. Sadie, did you get to hold a bunny? Yeah. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah. But it tickled me. Did it tickle? Yeah. How cute. And what's in here? A little <laughs> hey, so you know, if you get some off the ground. Yeah. 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 Good boy. Can you just some carrots for the donkey? Come on. Okay, just gotta be still like this. <laughs> Oops. Here, I'll hold this one out. Ready? Come on, buddy, you gotta be closer. Good morning. And welcome to Nitmaluk National Park. We're currently about halfway through the tour, but um, it's absolutely beautiful, eh? Yeah, we're doing a boat cruise through the gorge. I really wanted to do this, so yeah, and it's not disappointing. No. Nah. It's beautiful. We, the tour started at 8 a.m., so nice and early. It's a bit of mist on the water. Yeah, I'll give you a quick look. Oh yeah, we'll put together a little montage and chuck some music behind it and give you guys a look around as well.
So we left Catherine this morning and we made it to Timber Creek and we just pulled up behind the servo. They've got the campground here and it's pretty awesome. It's 30 bucks a night um, and there's a creek here. Timber Creek. Timber Creek. And the water is very pretty and they do um, crocodile feeding here but it's only on certain afternoons. It's like every second day. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's freshwater crocs in there. If you're lucky enough to be here on a day that they feed them, you can come down and watch that. But I don't think they're doing it tonight. Um, so yeah, we're going to cross the border tomorrow into WA. Exciting! Oh yeah. We've been hanging out to get to WA. And yeah, it looks like we'll be crossing the border tomorrow. So it also looks like I'll be doing a big cook up tonight of all the fresh veggies. And we'll be eating fruit yeah. for breakfast because you can't take any of that stuff across. So, but yeah, that's what we'll be doing tonight. Just hanging out here at this campground. Pretty nice. I'm just going to chime in. We stayed at Catherine Farm. Oh, yeah. Catherine Stay. Farm Stay. And it is amazing. Awesome. Yep. So, if you're in Catherine, do the farm stay. The kids. Loved it. The adults loved it. Yeah, it was awesome. The owners are just amazing. Thirty-five and he bucks. Gets all involved and shows the kids snakes and all types of yeah. stuff. They yeah, they do all like um, animal feeding every afternoon. Awesome. Sadie absolutely loved it. She got to hold a bunny and she held a snake. It's really worth it. Yeah. So yeah, it's thirty-five bucks an hour a night for a powered site. It's got everything you need. And so yeah, it was awesome. We had a couple of nights there. So highly recommend that, Catherine Farms Day. You can find it on Wiki Camps or just Google it. Check out this tree. First, we're finally seeing a, a Boab tree. Look at the size of it. He's a monster. Do you know what that is? Mm. That's a boab tree. Uh -huh. Yeah, look how big it is. Can you put your arms around it? Yeah. Look at that. Dad can't. Oh, I can't go around that tree. That's too big. You want to try and do it? Can you stretch around the tree? Yeah. Nah, it's too big, hey. What a stonker. Yeah. Like mommy. Bubbling. Bubbling, baby. Have a look at that. Hey? Eh? That smells so good, if I do say so myself. Which you do. Some potato bake. So I mentioned earlier that we're crossing the border tomorrow and we can't take veggies with us. So I had a whole bag of potatoes to use. So <laughs> what do I do? I go and spend eight dollars on a tub of cream just to save a two dollar bag of potatoes. But it's gonna be a delicious meal as well. Let's just look at it that way. Oh, I love potato bake. I never make potato bake because it's like you gotta make so much of it and there's just Sadie won't eat it and it's just two of us. But I'll eat it. Well, you're gonna eat it. I will eat it. <laughs> and what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here like, I've got all these empty cans everywhere. Blondie. Not sponsored. But should be. Nah, she's got the Your Mates sh Brewing shirt on, yeah. drinking a pure blonde. Oh, the mixed messages you're giving out right now. Now we had to stop drinking Your Mates, it's very expensive. <laughs> Can't even really find it. 
No, anyway, you can't. At the moment, where we, we do are. miss it. So if you guys see this, we are invested. <laughs> yeah. And we need some more beers sent out ASAP. Hashtag your mates brewing co. See, that could be a Larry right now. If you guys send us beers, that could be a Larry. But it's not. The, the sky is loaded with bats. Yep. Chicken of the cave, as some call them. Have a look at that. Look through here, above the car there. Ta da! We made it! WA, Sadie! We're in Western Australia! We're a few metres away from it. <laughs> but yeah, we've made it to the border. Exciting! Which is bloody exciting because our whole trip we've like, we want to see WA. Hey! We've been hanging out for this. Yep. It's not going to disappoint. No way in hell. Are you happy, Sadie? Yay! We put our mark on it, so if you find our sticker on there, give us a tag. Let us know. <laughs> Let us know. All right, we're gonna go inside here, go through the quarantine checkpoint and everything. Yeah. But yeah. I just um, bailed cat out of federal prison, trying to smuggle bananas. Won't you? Banana smuggler. Yeah. All right, we made it through the quarantine checkpoint. We had a good look through the van, fridge, freezer, cupboards, make sure you don't have any anything hiding in there. But yeah, it was all good, didn't take long at all. And now, we're in, we're in Western Australia. How exciting. Well, we just got to Kununurra and we got this pretty cool little site just on the water here at, um, Lily Lagoon's resort. So there's the water. A couple of boats out there. And this is our setup for the next couple of nights. There's a little like picnic table and stuff over there. They've got some barbecue areas, washing machines are free to use, there's water taps around the place, and it's only $35 a night for this little unpowered section. Pretty happy with this spot. I want to go with Dan. I want to go with Dan. I'm too hungry. What do I reckon? I'm way too close. I'm hungry. I want to go. So we're staying in Kununurra and we decided to come and check out Lake Argyle. We weren't too sure whether we would hire, you can hire these little pontoon boats, like down there, see him? Um, not sure if it'd be worth it, but there's also nowhere just to take a swim. We might go have a bit more of a look around down the bottom here. There's a couple of roads. And by the sounds of it, they've opened the floodgate. So we might, uh, might go check that out. Yeah. Sort of thought. Definitely worth a look while we're in the area. Pretty amazing lake full of uh, freshwater crocodiles. Get 
just had a quick look around Lake Argyle and the Discovery Park. That's where we found that infinity pool. And very cold, by the way. And I think there's like just a small fee to pay if you do want to sw swim there, but you're not staying at the Discovery Park. But as it was so bloody cold, we didn't bother even paying anything. We didn't bother swimming. Oh yeah, looks like a decent caravan park. Pretty expensive from what I have read online, but yeah, always an option for you guys if you do want to stay out here at Lake Argyle. I would suggest um, to see the lake properly, if not, I'll say at all, probably get a boat if you can hire a, hire a pontoon or something. Uh, yeah, we can't really see too much without having a boat. So yeah, if you're not bringing your own, I'd probably suggest hiring one if you do really want to see the lake.